Hello everyone, Jeff Brozovich here from LongRangeOnly.com again with another gear review. Today, what we're going to be taking a look at is a custom die made for specifically for your rifle chamber and they're available from Warner Tool Company. We're going to have an in-depth look at how this die is made, how it works, and what it can do for your precision reloading. So stick around. Okay, so as we have a closer look at this custom-made die from Warner Tool Company, I'm going to disassemble the die, show you the pieces of it, kind of give you the go-over of uh, kind of what it consists of here and how it functions, and what and everything you see or see here in front of me is what comes with the die. So um, I'll go over some of that. Uh, first off, you'll get a detailed set of instructions on how to, how your die functions, how to keep it clean, and uh, and how you want to use it to your best of your advantage. Now let me move the camera in closer here so you can see what I'm looking at up close while I disassemble the die and go over all the pieces that come with it. So when you unpackage your custom die, you're going to find all these pieces in there. As I mentioned before, a detailed instruction sheet telling you how to make your die function properly, keep it clean, uh, change shims and things like that. First, let's go over what comes in it. This is a wrench that goes on this lock ring. It specifies in the instructions, after you get this die set up in your press, only tighten the lock ring hand tight. In the event that you get carried away and over tighten this, it can be very tight. There's a lot of clamping force here from the diameter of this die. This is the inch and a quarter thread size die. So if you overdo it, the wrench is supplied to go in this hole and break it back loose. So that's what that is. Okay. Also, you get a nice machine shell holder for your caliber. You start off when you order these dies by sending a few pieces of your fired brass out of your rifle to Warner Tool, which they will very precisely measure up. Okay. And they will make this die exactly for your rifle. By use, using that fired brass from your rifle, it'll, be, it'll ensure you that it's not a one-size-fits-all die. This is for your particular rifle and it'll give you the best possible advantages to resizing your die or resizing your brass exactly to fit your chamber. Okay, the other thing you'll find in here in this little package is a set of shims. What these shims are used for is you take out these three little allen screws that comes off and there's a shim under here. This is how you set up your shoulder bump or your head space if you will. This is what determines how far you're going to push your shoulder back on your brass. So it's set up, each die comes set up so you can do a max, maximum shoulder pushback of six thousandths and then you can add shims to come back from that anywhere from one thousandths, you know, all the way through. You can stack shims or plus or minus and, and come up with the exact shoulder bump that you're looking for. And like I said, that's done by removing these three screws and that cap and changing the shim. You can do that with the die installed in the press. It's a lot easier when it's out here on the bench and uh, the way we set this die up, which I'll go over in a little bit, you just loosen that lock ring, pull it out of there, do your change in. might be a little easier that way uh, than trying to fight these little screws in the press. And uh, this die sets up to cam over on the shell holder and I'll go over setup when we move over to the press. Um, so every time you put your die back in it should be set up to the same depth and it will be the shims that determine how much shoulder you get bumped back, not how deep you set your die up each time and have to fuss with it. Okay. Also, the Allen wrench is included for that. And in here, we have an additional 
neck bushing and notice the neck bushings for this die that, that are made specifically for you also include the shoulder so they not only get the entire neck sized some other bushing dies only size about uh, 80 to 90 percent of your neck you'll get your entire neck sized here and it'll be and it'll register off the shoulder the other thing they included for me in this was this is actually a, a little fixture they make so I can measure my shoulder what this does is simply slide over the piece of brass and then I use my caliper to measure so I can measure that before I size my brass and after I've sized my brass and see if I'm getting the desired shoulder pushback that I want let's take a look inside the die on top here you have the adjustment a little knurled knob to set the depth of your decapping pin and you'll notice when you start messing with this die that all the machining is so nice the threads all are so smooth it's unbelievable so your decapping pin is right there there's a brass ring there just for uh, that's what's something to give you something to tighten up against inside the die first comes out our neck bushing so that is our neck bushing and we can get them in any size we want if we want them to the thousands we can get them to the thousands if we want a half thousandths they can make us one to the half thousandths or whatever dimension we desire okay and then comes your sleeve and I'll get my finger stuck in there like I always do then comes your sleeve that is turned single cut point machining this sleeve is not just reamed out with a sizing reamer this sleeve is cut on a very uh, very accurate lathe and it's single point cut turning off of the dimensions of your brass so this is actually what sizes the, the majority of the, of the case and these are changeable now what does that mean that means that we can buy one die set up order the internal parts for several calibers to lessen the cost of being able to use a nice die like this and uh, just change out our insides when we go from different caliber to caliber okay to quickly go over everything again as I put this die back together the three screws on the bottom with the spacer that comes off with the shims behind it are adjustable shims to set our shoulder bump and first our specifically single point machined sizing sleeve then our custom made neck bushing to determine the size we want to size our neck down our decapping pin and rod that's adjustable on top of the little neural set there the brass washer and we tighten this down like this till it touches set our ring down all adjusted and ready to go now let's move over to the press and look at the set setup and installation over there now that we're over here at the press there's a few things I need to talk about here um, so we don't confuse anybody what I want to say is I use the Reading T7 press and uh, I modified my press quite a bit to accept this die these dies are larger than standard they're the inch and a quarter diameter thread so I had to uh, send this off to Dustin Denton at a machine shop have him bore a couple of these holes out for me and re-thread them then I had to modify the body of my uh, press here so that it would rotate so I'm not going to recommend that don't make it that hard that's just something I chose to do uh, you can take a uh, uh, RCBS rock chucker or any of those presses that will accept the inch and a quarter die or, or like with the rock chucker I mentioned um, you can just remove that steel bushing in the top and then it'll accept these dies but uh, I just didn't want to confuse anybody with how I was using this press to do this operation with an inch and a quarter die alright so let's cover the setup I'm over here at the press first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my shell holder that was supplied with my die I'm going to snap it in place then I'm going to drop my handle and bring my ram all the way up and then start putting my die in 
I'm going to back my ring off all the way. I'm going to run the die completely down until it contacts the shell holder. Back this off a little bit and I'm going to get a cam over at the bottom of my stroke. So I know that even when I'm sizing brass and putting a little pressure on things, we're going to remain, we're going to be able to obtain and keep a zero clearance between the shell holder and the die body. Once I've done that, I'm going to run this ring down and just snug it up. Don't over tighten this ring, just touch it up. So the die is installed, the shims have been selected that I needed for my shoulder bump, and everything's ready to go to size our first piece of brass. So first, let's do a little measuring and look at what the brass shoulder bump, or what the brass measures shoulder to head stamp before and after to give you an idea how adjustable this die is. So measuring here, we've got our little uh, bushing that they make for us uh, to measure our shoulder. Slides right over there. I've got an anvil, anvil on my dial caliper here and I've zeroed my caliper. So I simply get a measurement and this will give me a measure from the head stamp to the shoulder of the case. 2.905. So let's size the case and see if we get our 2000's desired shoulder bump. Okay, I've lubed this case just on the standard uh, RCBS uh, lube pad with RCBS lube. A light coat of lube. I'm going to put it in my shell holder. Run it up in there. To cam over. Back down, just like you would with any die. Now let's measure that case again. Okay, here we go. 2.903. I got exactly two thousandths shoulder bump as I sized my case. And again, that's adjustable by changing the shims in the bottom of the die. So that covers the internal components, the setup, the way the die functions, and how we install it in our press using the cam over method against the shell holder. And what that does, that ensures every time we take it in and out of the press, the die goes back to the exact same spot so that the amount of work being done is determined by the shim under this ring, not by how deep we set our die up in our press. What that does for us, that allows us to exactly size our brass the same every time, ensuring consistency and a piece of brass that is dimensionally equal to the chamber in our custom precision rifle. I want to go over a little bit more about the construction of the die. Um, we've seen how it comes apart and everything. What I didn't mention was uh, this die is constructed from uh, wear resistant chrome vanadium tool steel. Very tough stuff. Hold its tolerances for a long time and with good maintenance this die should last us a lifetime. So a custom die like this is representative of you get what you pay for. This is not an off-the-shelf die. It's probably not the best choice for beginners. This is something that's aimed at the precision guys who need the accuracy, want to get all they can get, whether it be for bench rest or ELR shooting. The other thing that these kind of dies offer us is the guys like me that occasionally build a Wildcat. It's, an, it's not something you're going to go find a die on the shelf for, but you can take your fire form of brass, call Warner Tool, send it to them, and they'll build you a die that'll perfectly size your Wildcat brass to fit the chamber of your Wildcat chambering. Because this is my first die, custom die from Warner Tool, I wanted to get you guys a little background of experience, so uh, I called up a friend of mine, Jeff Van Eel. Jeff's an ELR shooter. Uh, he's done a lot of competition shooting. He is very precise about his precision hand loading. And uh, I talked to Jeff, and Jeff informed me that he had been using these dies for five years. And he had used them in every caliber, ranging from his six millimeters all the way up to his big 338s. And he said, they, 
just absolutely providing with consistent results and identically matched sized brass time after time after time. Okay, Jeff also told me that uh, he has dives from two other custom die manufacturers. And he told me that he much prefers the Warner die over the others. He also said, and I think I touched on this earlier, but one of the things he really likes, because of the bushing configuration and the way this die is built, that he has the option to size the entire neck on his piece of brass. Because that bushing goes down and sets onto the shoulder before it stops, it sizes the entire neck. So he likes that option. He likes fully sized necks instead of 80% sized necks. The other thing Jeff told me was uh, he's very meticulous about keeping these dies clean, which I kind of touched on that earlier. And what he likes about this is he can, uh, he can back his sizing stem off, and, uh, or decapping stem, I should say, off out of his die when he's not using them. And then he just sets his die on the table like that. That keeps dust getting in from the bottom. The stem is still in there, so dust can't get in from the top, and his die will sit there like that and not tip over because of the diameter of these dies. And he can just set them on his bench like that or off on a shelf, and they, they store very nicely that way. One other thing I want to mention to you uh, about Warner Tool while well, I've got you here and we're talking about them and the great things they offer from their Warner Tool company. Let's talk about the flatline bullets for just a minute here. Warner has a, a product line called Flatline Projectiles and they make lathe turn bullets. These bullets are primarily designed for uh, the long range shooter, um, but they've got them through all different spectrum there of calibers and sizes. And uh, you want to see some precision, get your hand on a box of these bullets and give them a try. Uh, we've got some of these, we're going to be doing some more review on them later, maybe uh, do a little testing with them, but I just got these in for my uh, 375 uh, Shytech improved build. And uh, these are the 361 grain uh, projectile with a very high VC. So I uh, just wanted to throw that out there for you too. Warner is also making some awesome lathe turn bullets. So I think that's a wrap on the Warner Tool Custom Die uh, for sizing uh, your precision rifle brass. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope I was informative. Hope I covered everything I meant to. Uh, we're going to get this out there for you. Uh, if you find it interesting, uh, Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Come over to longrangeonly.com. If you've got any questions about this, dies, I'll have a thread there where we can discuss anything. You can ask questions. And if I can't get the answer, uh, Dan Warner from Warner Tool is often on the website. He'll be able to answer any questions about your particular needs for dies for you. So come see us at longrangeonly.com. Follow us on Instagram and uh, Facebook. And uh, we hope to see you there soon. So hope you enjoyed it. Take care and thanks for watching.